So now, back in, now in the 80s, some crazy Australian came up with its bacteria. Okay, we're a lot smarter than that. We know bacteria can't live in the stomach until he found it. It's actually shaped like a little helicopter and it's called helical pylorus. And he says that this is now the cause of stomach ulcers. And nobody believed him until he drank a tremendous amount of the helical pylorus, induced a stomach ulcer, took a picture of it, and then drank the, the antibiotic and killed it. So now, beautiful, we know the cause of ulcers. In the 80s, it's helical pylorus, it's a bacteria. Do you want to know the real cause of ulcers now? Okay, what they're finding out now, okay, is that antibiotics may kill it, but that they're finding out that helopylorus, this bacteria in there, is normal. It's normal flora. It's supposed to be in there. So, oh my gosh, so now it's not a problem with the bacteria. It's not a problem with too much acid. Okay, that's moronic. The friggin' thing's designed to, to, to handle acid. Heck, you can put so much acid in that stomach, pour it out, it'll burn a hole right through concrete. So what's the cause? What's the cause of it? You want to know? It's lack of function of the goblet cells. You got to remember that that stomach is always producing a protective layer to, to handle the acids in the stomach. So if those goblet cells don't produce it, the acid will eat through, make a little hole in the stomach, bacteria are very opportunistic, they go after it, then they start growing. So it's lack of function of the goblet cells. What causes lack of function of the goblet cells? Lack of nerve supply or pain. And in fact, did I just scare you? Good. What happens under pain? Physical, chemical, or emotional pain. All three of those stressors, instantly your body's being chased by a tiger. Do you want blood going to digestion or blood going to arms and legs so you can run away? That's the brilliance of this. Think of this. Physical, chemical, or emotional stress shuts blood supply down to this entire GI tract. Oh my gosh. Does that mean that the chronic hurt toe, the chronic hurt neck, can lead to major gastrointestinal problems? Yes or yes? Brilliant. Okay. So now they do a study at Cleveland Chiropractic, Kansas City, and they compare drugs, antacids, okay, with doing nothing, with chiropractic adjustments. And they do an endoscopic exam where they drop a TV camera in there, take a picture of stomach ulcers, and then pull it out, and then they do the therapies. They do adjustments, drugs, or nothing. Guess which one worked fastest? Adjustments. Adjustments work fastest. Okay, the drugs did decrease um, the pain. Okay, yeah. uh, not a, not as good. Well, it did, yeah, they actually, in fact, you're you're right there because the ulcer did grow under the medications. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. They were feeling better, um, but the adjustments actually shrunk the ulcer and got faster pain relief than the medications. And they even found doing nothing shrunk the ulcer faster than the medications. So it's a brilliant system, and you've got to work with that brilliance. Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, you are what you eat. That is so true. If you can regrow the stomach lining quickly, you put healthy stuff in there, you get healthy materials out. This is vital. Um, this is the most powerful antioxidant on the planet. If you have high levels of cholesterol, a couple of blueberries a day will lower it. Sorry, the side effect of blueberries is health. Okay? It's cleaning the arteries. It's a soluble fiber. It's phenomenal. A couple of blueberries? A cup. A cup. A couple, a couple if you're very small. <laughs> the blueberries are like this, you know, and you've got them for a Willy Wonka. It's okay. No, a cup of blueberries a day. <laughs> okay, the quality of your life depends on the quality of questions you ask. That is very, very true. Um, why do I have this symptom is never ask in the medical circumstances, and that's ridiculous. If you have respect for the body, and I do, by gosh, I do. I've seen cancer reversed. I've seen degeneration reversed. We, we show reversal of arthritis every day. I have so much respect for the body because I know it can heal. The problem is, here's the, here's the new health plan, and I'll, I'll present it to you right now. If drugs and surgery were free and unlimited, would the health of the population improve or decline? decline? Isn't that way? You know, I speak all the time to different companies, different groups all the time. That's the exact answer. There's no hesitation, and it's done immediately. Do we care about the Medicare drug benefit program? No, that's ridiculous. That's federal subsidy of pharmaceutical products. 
There's no pharmaceutical product on the planet that's going to help you. Okay, it's now up to us. We can rebuild it. Remember this. Burn this into your heart and in your mind. If you have a nervous system that's free of interference, your body is designed to heal. The only reason that a body will not heal is because you're missing something, either deficiency or toxicity. Either you're toxic some, with something or you're deficient with something. And that's the source of disease, absolutely 100% of the time. You lose that arc of life that information gets choked off. That innate intelligence is gone. Your body cannot function. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's why when this patient came in with severe GI tract problems, we took an x-ray of the neck and they said, no, doc, it hurts here. Within a month, they were off the drugs. This is her. The curve is coming back. The pressure is off the system. And she said, what do I do with that giant bottle of Tums I bought from Costco? And I said, well, that's a tough one. If you flush it down the water systems, it's going to get in our drinking systems. If you bury it in your backyard, you could kill your dog, and it's the deadliest drug in America. I just return it. This is absolutely what you require. Proper nerve supply. That's vital. That's the vital force. That's the innate intelligence regular exercise and this is only to detox your system you only regular exercise to get your system more towards alkaline sitting not breathing right not breathing correctly that's why we've got that whole alkaline water system here that please bring your bottles fill them up utilize it proper nutrition if God makes it eat it if he doesn't don't it's real simple if you have any type of health health problems eliminate grains immediately Eat as many fresh fruits and vegetables as you can. Make it balanced. Make sure you got a good mineral supplement. Phenomenal. Sufficient rest. This is TV, no TV at night and prayer and meditation because we're designed. Uh, did, what I described, does that sound intelligent? Like it's maybe designed by an intelligent being? If not, a billion years of random chance came up with this incredible design where it produces a cell and spits out one hydrogen and one chloride. Right. <laughs> I, I don't believe that.